Hi everyone, it is March 21, 2019. Deer Park and Galenus has a shelter in place order. You are instructed to close your windows, your doors, and not go outside because of the ITC chemical fire in Deer Park. I'm going to let you listen to just uh, a little over three minutes of this video, but the press conference is 38 minutes long. Click on the link to listen to the entirety. PRC Channel 2, this is a breaking news alert. Oh, we can and Amy Davis with you, uh, breaking into the Today Show, interrupting uh, this for some breaking news from Deer Park, where the city this morning is under a shelter-in-place order after the massive fire at ITC. Yeah, Judge Lena Hidalgo from Harris County and other public health officials are speaking right now, updating the public on air quality. Let's listen in. the possibility of flare-ups. That's why we've kept intense monitoring in place all throughout the night and since yesterday. We caught benzene vapor immediately early this morning and our plan was activated and executed as designed. Local officials and all of our partners are taking steps to make sure our community is informed and to make sure our community is safe. La posibilidad del vapor escapara, que el vapor escapara la, el sitio del incidente es una posibilidad que esperábamos, así como esperábamos pequeños eh, incendios nuevamente. Nuestro equipo ha estado monitoreando desde ayer muy cercamente la situación e inmediatamente en cuanto hubo un, una elevación del vapor de benceno se identificó y estamos trabajando fuertemente para manejar la situación. Todos los oficiales están tomando pasos para asegurarnos que la comunidad se permanezca informada y segura. The product escaped from the foam blanket that was in, in place. There's not much wind right now, which is keeping everything in the area. Given our very conservative air quality standards, we're at a level where out of an abundance of caution, there should be a shelter in place which the city of Deer Park has announced. It's important to remember, outside of that immediate area, we are not seeing any elevated readings right now. Dado nuestros estándares muy conservativos de la, la calidad del aire, estamos en un punto en el que es recomendado que se, que se haga una orden de permanecer en su hogar, lo que está haciendo la ciudad de Deer Park. Pero es muy importante recordar que fuera de esa área no estamos viendo medidas elevadas en la calidad del aire. We are, in fact, starting to see a little bit of a downward trend in our samples, and we will continue to communicate information with our community as soon as we get it. What we're doing at the time is we are focused on maintaining the foam blanket until we can get to a point where we feel confident that the situation is under control. We've got Harris County Pollution Control, the Texas National Guard, six civil support team, which are experts in chemical surveillance. Harris County Hazardous Material Team, City of Houston Hazmat Team, they've all set two perimeters around the incident site to identify and analyze air quality readings in real time. En este momento estamos trabajando para mantener todo, todo el área bajo control, el control de contaminaciones del condado Harris, así como el de la ciudad de Houston, la Guardia Nacional del Estado de Texas, que son expertos en el monitoreo de químicos de este tipo, y todos están trabajando para mantener perímetros alrededor del sitio en cuestión y mantener eh, la observación de cualquier químicos. Estamos trabajando para encontrar cualquier y analizar cualquier cambio inmediatamente en tiempo real. The closures and shelters right now the city of Deer Park has announced is under a shelter in place. The city of Galena Park is not seeing elevated readings right now, but the mayor has called a shelter in place as a precautionary measure. We urge people to follow the instructions of local officials. I apologize, it's Galena Park, not Galenas. Um, yeah, that foam. Look at all of the foam that they used to put out that fire. The foam is toxic. Isn't it unfortunate that the two-legged just does not know how to protect the environment at all. Unbelievable. So you have the toxic chemicals from the fire, from this chemical plant, and then you 
add on more toxins by putting out the fire with this foam. <laughs> the link is below if you want to listen to the full press conference.